gospel track. Uh, more mockers tonight. More mockers who hate the First Amendment, who hate Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> they gotta prove the Bible is true, right, with their wicked behavior, love of sin. track folks find out how to go to heaven how to have your sins forgiven this is what fascism looks like This is what fascism looks like right here. Got a couple of fascists here who hate freedom of speech, hate the First Amendment, they hate God. They can't stay. What's that? It's pretty obvious. Gospel tract tells you how to go to heaven. Don't let the fascist stop you from getting the gospel. He may die and go to hell and rot in hell for all, for all eternity, but you don't have to. Jesus was tolerant, you are not. Tolerant of sin, no. You don't know the Bible then, sir. You don't know the Bible very well at all. Jesus did not tolerate sin. You have a different Jesus then, sir. You have a very different Jesus. A fake Jesus that's fine with baby murder and sodomy and all sin. <laughs> Thank you for for being intolerant and suppressing free speech, right? Right? I'll get a gospel track. Gospel track? Well, what, what do you not agree with? The language, well, repent? The brutality? The brutality? Taking advantage of public space for the arts to make a serious well, public sidewalk, yeah, and, and they are too. So what's wrong with that? Well, ma'am, you're going to give an account to God one day. Don't want you to die and go to hell. I don't like that. I don't want you to die and go to hell. Another fascist? Hmm. How many fascists does it take to suppress freedom of speech and freedom to assemble? How many fascists does it take? Hmm. How many fascists does it take to suppress the First Amendment and suppress the freedom to assemble? How many does it take? Repent. Repent, folks, and turn to Christ. Only He can save you. Gospel track, man. Gospel track tells you how to be reconciled to God. Gospel track.
Gospel track, guys. Find out how to go to heaven, how to have your sins forgiven. Go get one. Y'all know where you stand before a holy God? We're all going to give an account to God one day, folks. The Bible says, did you get one? The Bible says every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Consider, folks, where you stand before a holy God tonight. You want a gospel track, man? The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Gospel track, folks. You see, folks, this is what happens when, when lesbians raise you. A warning. When godless heathen raise you. You're becoming tolerant of other people's viewpoints and you try to shut down their First Amendment rights. That's, that's what happens. It's a loving warning. This is a public display of what fascism looks like. <laughs> fascism. If only I worked for the government, that might be Gospel track, sir. Oh, here, look at what you, uh, many of you support doing to children. <laughs> Gospel track, sir. The theme is relationship because it's so fresh for me, so bear with me. I'll give a gospel track. Tells you how to go to heaven. I'll give a gospel track. Tells you how to be reconciled to God. We care about you. We, we don't want anyone dying and go to hell. So tonight we've had... Uh, hold on. Gospel track, ladies, sir, tells you how to go to heaven, how to have your sins forgiven. So tonight we've had three fascists join against the preaching who cannot stand the fact that there's someone speaking, giving some things to think about, free speech. But it's mainly two fascists tonight that are standing, including one insecurity guard right here, who's been staring at right at me since I, I arrived. <laughs> You are an insecurity guard. Say it again. You are an. Say it again. What was that, sir? You said say it again. That's what you are. Is that what you're saying? You're a fascist. And I'm calling you a fake pastor. Okay. That's fine. You're an insecurity guard, and so we we have two fascists here who hate free speech. They hate freedom to assemble, and they try to shut it down. Yeah. Psalm 37 verses 12 and 13. The wicked plots against the righteous and that gnashes so? at him with his teeth. Good. The Lord laughs at him, for he sees his day is coming. Right so folks, and this is what happens when lesbians raise you, when, when godless heathen raise you, and you grow up to hate freedom of speech, uh, hate, hate like God. Like this is what indoctrination into godless Radio, Marxism and Satanism gets you. You throw a temper tantrum. Whenever you don't get your way, whenever you're not, because whenever, you're not used to being told the word no, no discipline. The Bible says, Proverbs 22, 15, foolishness is bound up on the heart of a child. The rod of discipline will remove it far from him. This is what happens when you're not, when you're not disciplined as a child. The foolishness never leaves your heart. <clears throat> Gospel track, guys. Tells you how to get to heaven. No, 
Gospel track, folks, tells you how to get to heaven, how to have your sins forgiven. Repent from your sin and turn to Jesus Christ for forgiveness. That's so original. Where'd you get that one? So this insecurity guard and fascist follows me footstep by footstep. <laughs> So, yeah, if you want to know what a fascist is, just look at these two people, right. these two clowns. I, got another OG. I thought that I was Antifa, Nicholas. This one I went from anti-fascist. Gospel track, man? When did that happen? Tells you how to go to heaven. Gospel track? Did y'all get a gospel track? So Repent of your sin. Turn from your sin today. Consider your ways tonight, folks, before a holy God. See, this is what a communist nation does. They shut down all freedom of speech, all freedom to assemble. They shut it all down. So this is what that is. Doing everything they can to shut it down. You'll know them by their fruits, Jesus said. You'll know them by their fruits. What fruit is that? Fruit loops? <laughs> I'm, I'm full of fruit loops. I like I think maybe like a honey crisp. Maybe a tangerine. I know what they say about pineapples. But for swingers. Hey, he took his eyes off me. It took a while. <laughs> The fascist took his eyes off the preacher. What are you doing with your newfound freedom? <sighs> Gospel track, ladies. Go get one. A what? Where's your at? Tells you how to go to heaven. Why is this off? Where's your preacher? Repent from your sins. I can look at this one too. Like. Oh, like, where's your preacher? Would you have Here. that come out of your list? Here to point you to Jesus Christ. Well, I'm a man, and, and real men speak up for those who cannot speak up for themselves. But no one needs you to speak up. No, yeah, the, 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 the babies in the womb do. Our pre-born neighbors do. More. Like, so the, but you're, but you're, they're in the womb, so you're not a... But the ultimate problem is that you're in, in rebelling to God. You need Jesus Christ. The, the, the coochie baby is afraid of God. Y'all know where we stand before God? I have God? Yeah. I don't believe really like anything on If you were to die tonight, where would you go? Any idea? Heaven or hell? Well, you either you either go to heaven or hell. Well, these are these are human rights that we're speaking up for. Little babies in the womb. The Bible says every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So this is what happens when you fail to raise your children to fear God. They can't think for themselves so they're, and they're clueless or brainless. Warning to all parents, don't raise your children in godlessness, in Marxism, in Darwinism.
gospel is going forth tonight. Even, even amidst the fascism and the joblessness, even amidst those who try to shut it down, it still goes forth and God is glorified. Christ is praised. Praise God. People still getting the truth, even with the fascist present. Gospel tract. Tells you how to go to heaven, how to have your sins forgiven. Is, this is what Christians do. They bring the gospel to the lost, wherever they are. That's what Jesus said to do. To bring the gospel to every creature. Whether or not they're a fascist to try to shut it down or not. Whether or not they're a godless people who hate truth. But the Lord Jesus Christ said, the world hates me because I testify of it that his deeds are evil. Oh, are you telling him thank you for being a fascist? Is that what you're thanking him for? So, because, because of baby killers. Because of Planned Parenthood and my choices. Because of baby killers. Wow. Wow. This girl exists because of Planned Parenthood, the biggest baby killer in the world. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you can't make this up, folks. You really can't. Ma'am, I'm not the one who supports baby killing. Who's got the mental health issues here? <laughs> Are you saying we don't? Josephine oh, County has the, highest, has the highest child poverty rate in the state of Oregon. Go help so what are you doing about that, ma'am? Huh? What are you doing about that? I'm, I am saying people who want to have children should be the ones who have them. Period. 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 Um, who says this is easy to do, man? And exist, then you have to take care of them. And none so of let's just let, let's just murder them, right? No, it's not. Yeah, it is murder. This this is murder, man. This is murder. This baby was ripped to pieces. And you stand with the people who do this to children, man. I stand with the people who defend the privacy of a woman and her doctor. Murdering and the choices when that baby probably won't live and that no, baby not when you murder just, them, no. then just get risk the life of the mother. What about the life you, of the baby? All of these people don't give a shit. Women are just vessels to make more babies. They don't give a shit. Mm. Some indoctrination and brainwashing there. No, it just the uh, the insanity and the godlessness. <laughs> That's what you get when you're when the God of this world has blinded the mind, the minds of the unbelieving. But the Bible says the devil was a murderer from the beginning, the father of lies. That's who you all have believed, the father of lies. He's worried about born children, but then she stands with those who murder babies in the womb. It's insanity. Proving the Bible is true, though. Proving the Bible is true. Praise God. Gospel track, man. Tells you how to get to heaven. For the open-minded and free thinker. I think you'll feel the love coming from her. <laughs> nor, nor do the babies who sh whom she supports murdering. Copy that, sir. I'm over here staring down a street preacher, making sure that. <laughs> no, I'm saying what you, should, what you should be saying. Copy that, sir. Um, 
Pardon me, I'm, don't mind me, I'm just over here be, uh, uh, staring down the street preacher, not doing my job. Watch the language, you're on, you're on duty. It's not very professional to curse while on duty. No, you don't have to like it. <laughs> Gospel tracks up. Well, you won't have a chance if you don't repent, sir. You'll end up in hell. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. Oh, so many people reject the gospel and stand before a holy God and they got nothing to say. God sent them preachers and they and they harden their hearts and stiffen in their necks. Gospel track. Track. Tells you how to go to heaven, how to have your sins forgiven. Gospel track, folks. Careful, fascist. Might make contact if you don't move a little bit more. Tara Marks and Charles Darwin would be so proud. would be so proud. Please pray for the people here in Abominable Ashland. What do you think? Thoughts? Comments? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, I just wanted them read it. Uh, yeah, gospel, gospel track. Okay. I'll take it, Nicholas. And this one, too. Can I have one? Yeah, let me see. Can I have one? This is what happens to babies every day. They're, they're acting like this because they hate children. Can I have one of your, your little tracks? What do you think? They? What's that? Who's they? Well, pe people here. Is everyone here? A lot. Well, I'm not sure, not everyone here, but a lot of people here do support doing this to children. That's another reason why we're showing it, because a lot of people in the city think this is okay to do to children. I've, I've already talked to at least two or three of them, at least. So, so who's doing that to children? Pe people in the city, people throughout America. In this city? Yeah. They're butchering babies? Yeah. Ashland, yeah. They're throughout Oregon, throughout America. Where are they butchering the babies? Well, they surgically and also through chemical pills. They there used to be a place here that did it. Now they go to Medford, or they go to another city where they they can murder them surgically. But not just surgically; they murder them through chemical pills. They're out thousands of times every day in America. It's a but like, they, like, like the baby comes down and it's top of the alarm. Well, whether outside the womb or inside the womb, they rip the baby to pieces. And I'm not saying that's every form of murder, but that's that's one of the forms of murder. Why is What's that? Can you move the umbrella up? We'll see how this recording you and probably we'll post it on that. That's fine. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm not. Yeah, just, so, no, yeah, pa pardon him. He's a fascist. He, he hates freedom of speech. So, you have to pardon him. I'm not Who the does? government. I don't have what, to. What's that? Oh, go ahead. Speech. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking questions. Yeah. I don't really care about politics. I just want to see what the science says. Yeah. I don't really care. So, why do they do that? Well, ultimately, because they hate God and they love death, as the Bible says. Wait, so they kill babies because they hate God? Well, that's ultimately why. Because. Because. They, because they, they, because people want to have sex without responsibility, and then babies are created through sex, right? And and they don't want to be responsible, so they do this to their child. And so the people who are having sex are doing this to the child. Yeah, well, well, not only them, but like people who support doing this to children. You got guys paying for it. What exactly? What's that? Support what exactly though? Well, support doing this to children. So support chopping off their legs. That and and baby murder. Whether the baby's chopped so up, whether the baby... Can, can, can you look at... I, I, try, I just can't see. I just want to make sure. I just want this to be visible to the crowd, so I'm going to keep this here. <laughs> Being a good fascist. So, please continue. You don't have to shit on him. He's not doing No, I'm just telling him what, what he's doing. He's just standing there. That's not a problem. No. Oh. Um, but, so, are these actual images? Yeah, well, I wouldn't be showing it if it wasn't. Okay. Have you ever seen a so murder baby where before? Are you, where are you getting these images? Just out of curiosity, like, what's your story? 
for these the Center for Bioethical Reform, CBR. You can look it up on like abortionno.org. Why, why were they taking exactly? Why were the pictures taken? Yeah, why were the pictures taken? Well, to give proof that this is happening to children and to show the world what is happening to children, what this country is doing to children. Do we know what the context behind these pictures is? Like, some of them, know, yes. Do some we of them. know that this is an actual baby that didn't have a medical health problem and that these were just the I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I, I don't know the. Thing or sorry, go ahead. That these weren't like a medical health problem or that this was like something like that, that this was actually a healthy baby who could survive coming out of the womb and that actually was intentionally murdered by somebody. Like, are we sure that this is where this picture is coming from? Well, whether the, the baby is healthy or has diagnosed for the disease, Down syndrome, whatever it may be, there's no reason to murder somebody, period. I'm saying when they physically cannot come out of the home alive and they just have medical problems like their limbs falling off or having a physical med medical problem that they cannot say that the baby is dead and going to die, like that you can't solve. Like, well, this is not that case because... Babies. Yeah, this isn't that case, because if the baby's dead, they'll deliver the baby. They don't rip the baby to pieces. There's no reason to live to rip the baby to pieces if you're just delivering him. Like a miscarriage, you know, you don't have to rip the baby to pieces to to deliver him. You just deliver the baby intact. you don't even have a baby. No, then a miscarriage that is, 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 is when a baby dies, right? Is yeah, this a religious thing? Is this is a politic thing? What, what, what do you... It's... What's the point you're trying to come yeah. across I do because I'm a Christian, okay. and because uh, this is what a, a man does so in the midst of it. So you think politi politi politics and religions are linked? What's that? Do you think politics and religions are linked? Are linked? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say this has really anything to do with politics in the sense that it's not, it's a love your neighbor issue. Because Jesus said the second great commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. Uh -huh. And so, what does it look like to be a Christian, and what does it look like to be a man in a society that does this to children? It looks like what we're doing tonight, speaking up for them in the public square. And so, that you don't have to be a Christian to do this. Um, I've, I've, I've known people who would tell you they're atheists who do this. Um, and I'm, but, I assume you think they're going to so but, that Christians are doing this? Are, are doing what? Are doing this. There's, yeah, they're defending the most defenseless in our society. Um, most You're saying Christians are defending this? Are, well, they're defending those who can't defend themselves. So they're supporting or not supporting baby murder? They, no, they stand against baby murder. Because okay. God says you shall not murder, right? Okay. Sixth commandment. And so I... Briefly, I I didn't know about this so until you, I was. Do you ahead. think all forms of abortion are murder? Well, when you when you intentionally, with malice and forethought, take the life of a baby in the womb, yes, what that, point that's abortion. Does a baby become alive? At the moment of fertilization. So the second. The exact moment sex. of fertilization. Yeah. When the sperm fertilizes the egg. Okay. So the moment that just that moment. energy is formed immediately. At, at, at the moment, it's yeah. A living child. A living human being. Right, so what I'm about the, a miscarriage? So miscarriage is murder. No, a miscarriage is, is is God taking the life of that baby in His timing, in His I'm providence. Sure it's called a spontaneous so God abortion. kills yeah. babies. God takes the life of that baby, and God can do that with any one of us, whatever time He 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 deems according to His providence, His so sovereignty. What did, what did the baby do wrong? The baby was just made, and then God's like, "I want to kill you." Well, God God's the author of life. He has the authority. He alone has the authority to do that. So we he, don't. He's okay. So kill. he's okay to kill babies, but we are. He's, like, a, he, we he's okay to take anyone's life at any time he wishes because he's God. We're not God. Because uh -huh. that, that's that's why you have to, to um, the distinction there. So there's an all-seeing power, mm -hmm. right? God. Is he omnipotent? Then yes. why would he allow that baby to be created just to kill it? Does he enjoy because, killing babies? Do you because, think it's a fun thing? Because so omnipotent means he can see the future, see the present, and see the past. Mm -hmm. So if he's omnipotent, that means that he knew this baby was going to be created, allowed it to happen just to kill it. Because that would mean that he enjoys killing babies. So does he enjoy killing babies, or is he not an omnipotent being? He does according to his will, according to what he pleases. He does whatever he pleases. So and he just fakes so he's just parents. Kill him. And he's like, oh, yay, you guys get to be parents. Actually, psych, I just wanted you to feel like you could be parents for a Well, I'm not going to say I, we don't... All right, hang on, shut up. Yeah. This is the whole Planned Planned Parenthood you helps provide oh, women. Oh, oh this right here? Planned Parenthood helps provide women. Uh, you mean this you right here? You this? found some garbage on the internet. You found a child garbage, got, wow. Wow. You found some garbage on the internet. Calling a child garbage. I have a living human Planned Parenthood help bring into this world. You know how many babies Planned Parenthood murders every day, ma'am? Wow, calling a child garbage. Thousands, ma'am. Thousands. As always, please, peace, anything approaches violence from anyone, uh, that's the last thing. Yeah, he, it might come from him, but, you know. <laughs> um, okay. so. I appreciate you. I really hate when kids see that stuff. Yeah, I hate the babies are becoming this. 
and nobody cares. Nobody cares. What? Not many cared in the days of chattel slavery. Oh, consider your ways tonight, folks, before a holy God. No, tonight, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. No other way, folks, no other name under heaven by which man can be saved. That doesn't sound very loving and tolerant. No. It says in your streets, it's public, sir. You shall learn the Constitution. You shall learn what the law is. The Bible says, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I only confess the lesbian you can't make Gospel track, folks. Gospel track tells you how to get to heaven. An old woman on her way to hell. Very sad. Oh, folks, the Bible says, Matthew chapter 7, you are the Lord Jesus Christ said, that broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter through it. Narrow is the path. You are in gay thank you for that. City. You're you right, sir. Thank you. Yeah. This is gay fucking city. Yeah, that's why we're here to give you the gospel. I don't sound very loving and tolerant. <laughs> Oh, the Bible says, for there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. That's the way that most people are living their lives, folks. A way that seems right, it feels right, their heart tells them it's right, but in the end, it leads to death. Gospel track. Oh, the Bible says, you won't survive if you don't repent, you'll end up in hell. Oh, the Bible says, do you think lightly of the riches of his kindness, tolerance, and patience, not knowing that the kindness of God leads you to repentance, but because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself and the day of wrath and righteous judgment of God who will render to each person according to his deeds. And as the Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, whatever a man sows, this shall he also reap. The one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. And we have sown so much corruption in, in abominable America. And we're reaping the devastating consequences. Gospel track, folks. Gospel track, man. Gospel track. Oh, folks, the Bible says that the one who does not believe the Son, that the wrath of God abides on him. We're not here to condemn anybody, but please know you are already condemned under God's wrath. The Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, among whom I am chief. And that is the gospel there, folks, what Jesus Christ said. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent or perish. Repent and be saved from this perverse generation. As the Bible says in Proverbs, For there is a generation that is pure in its own eyes, and yet is not washed from its filthiness. For there is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes. Gospel tracks. Gospel tracks. Tells you how to get to heaven. 
Don't know where you stand before God? What do you think about signs? I think my main question yeah. is what these people are getting, is how they're getting fulfillment. Temporary fulfillment by acting like idiots. But, but again, the Bible's being lived out here right now. That doing wickedness is like sport to a fool. Do the letter. It's about the passing pleasures of sin. Do you listen to talk to a podcast? Um, not often, but I'm, I have no problem talking to one. I just don't understand how this contradicts with what you're saying. Do you like to talk to a podcast? How contradicts? What? They, they, don't, they don't have an argument against it. The no, they don't. <laughs> they don't. You like it most. You see, but there'll be no party in hell. The party in hell has been canceled due to fire. So get your party in now because there will be no parties in hell. Oh, good. Do you, do you, do you all know where you stand before God? Hey, man, if you're going to take me to hell, if you're not passing me out, I'll give it back. No, 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 pass them out. Yeah, that's for you. Do you, do, you all, do you guys, do you know where you stand before God? I don't. What about you? If, if for all of you, if you were to die tonight, where would you go? And how do you know? I don't know. I don't, I don't know that any of us know for sure. Well, you see, Christians, we have assurance by the blood of, of the Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ, that if we were to die tonight, we'd be with our Savior. That's right. Not, I think, I think people, I think Christians have more fulfillment in their lives than people who don't. But I just don't. Well, but you know why that is? You know why that is? Why they don't have fulfillment is because that she is in demand. The reason that we all exist is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. They're living in rebellion to their maker. And if they don't repent, they're gonna they're gonna be in hell for all eternity. But as the sign says, you gotta repent from your sin and turn to Jesus Christ. You can hand this back to someone. Oh, you're gonna read it? Read, read it, check it out. Yeah, it's got the best message that's ever been told. The gospel of Christ. They, they're rejecting it, but, but we, we trust that God's planting seeds tonight in people's hearts and, and lives. Give them us all the wicked. I want, I want a serious question answered from you people. Why couldn't they have is, is, is what fulfillment are you getting from this? I just want to know what fulfillment you guys are getting from this. I mean, you could be, you could be, you could be watching the Shakespeare Festival right now. We're going down to the pub. We're going now. But she's still a little or you, I, I, th I think you're spending, or I think you're spending, I think you're wasting two four minutes of your life. I'm not worried, I've got a lifetime in hell to deal with it. Oh, just get brought in. Big bang, bring it in. Where do you all stand before God? Where do you all stand before God? If you're to, one day you're going to give an account to God, we all will. What if that was tonight? Where would you go? Are you ready to meet your maker? That's the question. Are you ready to meet your maker? Are you all, do you all know the gospel? What the gospel is? Do you know what it is? Well, the Lord Jesus Christ said, you must repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You got to repent and believe in the gospel. What does it mean to repent? It means you have a change of mind about your behavior. You turn away from all your sins and you turn to Jesus Christ alone for salvation. And please know that they're simply, this is simply the Bible being lived out right here tonight. The Psalm 37 for, says that the wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord laughs at him for he sees his day is coming. This is just the Bible being lived out tonight. Praise God. <laughs> so really think about that tonight, where are you going to go when you die? And it's only through Jesus Christ. Only through the shed blood of the Lamb. Shed at Calvary's cross. We're talking to people who are Please walking know that tonight, dude. folks. <laughs> folks, know tonight there's only one way to go to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ alone. One day you're going to draw your final breath, your heart's going to stop beating. As the Bible says, you are just a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes away. Come to Christ and live tonight, folks. The Bible says to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. 
and let him return to the Lord and he will have compassion unto our God for he will abundantly pardon. Well, sinned against the Holy God. We all have. We've all sinned against the Holy God. That's, that's what the Bible says in Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. See, not one of us is good. No, not one. There is none righteous. No, not one. There is none who seeks for God. There is none who understands. All have turned aside. Together, they have become useless. There is no one who does good. There is not even one. And do not trust your own heart tonight, folks, because the Bible says that the heart is deceitful and desperately sick. Who can know it? Who can know it? The Lord Jesus Christ said, For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed the evil thoughts, thefts, fornications, murders, adulteries, deeds of coveting and wickedness, as well as deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these evil things proceed from within and defile the man. Oh my God. Do not trust in your deceitful, desperately sick heart, folks. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ alone for salvation. Not in Buddha, not in Allah, not in any other false god. No, the Bible says in Psalm 16 that the sorrows of those who hasten to another god will be multiplied. The Bible says there is no peace for the wicked. There is no rest for the wicked. They cry, peace, peace, but there is no peace. And for those who serve their father, the devil, the Bible says the devil is the father of lies, that the devil was a murderer from the beginning. So those who are serving the devil, you're serving the father of lies, who was a murderer from the beginning. Please know that. The Bible says, better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. But so few people take refuge in the Lord. So few people trust in the Lord. I don't trust in the Lord. Oh, folks, please consider tonight where you stand before your Maker. The Bible says, prepare to meet your God. But most people are not prepared to meet their God, not even close. So we're here to, to try and help you. Prepare to meet your Maker. Again, the Bible says, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Your knees will not bow before Satan. Your knees will not bow before Allah or Buddha. Your knees will not bow before Hare Krishna. Your knees will bow before the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Please know that tonight, folks. People tonight, people every day, they hail the biggest loser in history. You see, the Christians here, we serve the risen King, the Lord Jesus Christ. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is the only firm foundation that exists. Every other foundation is sinking sand. Those who hail Satan, they hail the biggest loser in history. When the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead and conquered death and defeated Satan in all of hell, proving that he was and is God, the Lord Jesus Christ crushed the head of the serpent. The Lord Jesus Christ defeated Satan. Satan became the biggest loser in history. Folks, the question tonight is, where will you go when you die? Heaven or hell? You must be born again. What the Lord Jesus Christ said, unless one is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Have you been born again, folks, by the blood of the Lamb? 
Have you been born again? Folks, please know that about 150,000 people die every day all over the world. What if that was your time tonight to meet your maker? The Bible says, do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. Not one of us has promised another day, let alone another hour, let alone another 10 minutes. Are you ready to meet your maker? Most people are not. The Bible says that there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. That is the way that most people are living. A way that seems right, it feels right, their heart tells them it's right, but in the end, it leads to death. Oh, the Bible says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. The Bible says in Romans 3, there is no fear of God before their eyes. No fear of God before their eyes. Do you fear God? The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord, the prolonging of days, that the wicked, their years will be shortened. Oh folks, please know, so many homosexuals die young because the Bible is true. Their years are shortened. So many wicked people live in fornication and they die young and they, they die and go to hell. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, that one may avoid the snares of death. <clears throat> If any of you have questions, thoughts, or comments, objections, please feel free to come ask. Because that's the most important thing for you to consider tonight, is where will you go when you die? There's a heaven to be gained. There's a hell to be shunned. And the Lord Jesus Christ said that hell is a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the worm does not die, where the fire is not quenched. Yes, ma'am. Where does your faith stem from? Jesus Christ. But, but why? Well, he saved me. I can't. I can't say why he saved me. I have no idea why he saved me. Why do you have? Why do you have faith? Because of, because he saved me. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I can't okay. give a like. Go ahead. You should have some sort of base moral belief. So, what are your base moral beliefs? Well, I believe in that Jesus Christ, that he died, was buried, and rose again. And, and why do you think that's important for your moral? Well, because apart from, from Jesus Christ, apart from the Bible, we really have no standard to which we can base anything. Without God, everything is just subjective. In fact, none of this would exist if it weren't for God. But okay. God created the world. Okay. God created you and me in His image. Okay, so what are your base moral beliefs when it comes to a great scale of right, wrong, and morally right? Well, not not a great skill, but the Ten Commandments, the Law of God. Okay, and what are those? Well, the uh, do, do you know them? Uh, do you? Yeah, I, I do. I'm just wondering. You, you, well, you do know them. They're on your conscience. You shall have no other gods before me. First commandment. You that's shall. Interesting. What's that? Okay, that's interesting. Continue. And you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You shall honor your father and mother. You shall not tell a lie or bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. The first commandment with a promise. You shall not steal. You shall not covet. You should not commit adultery. You should not commit murder. And everybody out here actually has those on, written on their conscience. And they may not be able to recite them. Like, I... Go ahead. No, he's probably going to post this video. He's taking on that. Well, we, we do have to film because we, because we have people out here that hate the truth and sometimes they get violent. Okay, so... Go ahead. So, my question still is... Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. your base moral beliefs. Like, what do you believe to be right? What do you believe to be wrong? What do you believe to be in between? Well, based, uh, based on mm -hmm. those ten commandments that you do you kind of follow that for a rough reference of what you should do in your life? Uh, yeah, not perfectly, but but yeah. Okay. Like that that's how any of us knows what's right and what's wrong right versus wrong. Okay, so what do you believe to be right versus wrong? Well, here it's wrong to murder a baby because God says you shall not murder the sixth commandment. Okay. And 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 So you do believe that murder is wrong? Yeah, because God said so. That's the only re that's the only reason any of us know it's wrong. Because God said so. So you didn't you did you weren't able to make that decision for yourself as to what is right and wrong? You believe that God is the one who makes that decision? Well, uh, every one of us, we if we if anyone says that it's wrong to murder someone, they get that from God. Whether they acknowledge that or not, they get it from God. Well, we could also get it from you know societal expectations and you know what we believe to be wrong. Because we all sort of have, a, a, in some sense or another, a moral compass. Or that moral compass comfort. You're right. That's that's well, a good question. It could just be our you know cognitive. Well, there's there's one true God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and um, I, I thought that God and Jesus Christ were two. I thought, well, I thought that Jesus was the Son of God. It's he he is. You have the Trinity, one one God, three persons: Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And and so, um, God. I'm so. The um the question uh, what was the question but before that what you're asking? What is God to you? Oh, Jesus Christ. He he's the one who made me in His image. Who made everybody out here in His image? I thought that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. Jesus No, no, Jesus Christ wasn't made. He's always existed. Because the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same. Well, he, 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 he's always existed, but he did come to the earth and take on flesh, but he's always existed. Yeah, so he was made well, he took on flesh, as the Bible says in John chapter 1. He was created. He was created no, no, Jesus wasn't a created being. He, he, no, he's God. Okay, that's how... The, the Jehovah's Witnesses believe that. Works, no, like no for... Well, go ahead. Well, Jesus Christ, he took on flesh, became a baby, but he but he's always he existed before that. Yes. He just took on a, the form of a human being. Yes. You're saying that his cognitive awareness was always there. But I'm saying he was created in flesh, correct? Not created. Well, I, it's more accurate to say he took on flesh, I believe. I was created in flesh. I was created in flesh. Yeah, because, so yeah. No, not, not not created. No, just made, that he took on another form because he was fully God and fully man. He took on he took on the if you want to say the fully man part by taking on flesh. Okay. So would you say that that same cognitive awareness is the same with any baby? Well, well, the, uh, the like none of us existed, but you know before. Because, because do we believe that babies are created? Created, yes. Okay, so Jesus wasn't created. Was not was not he, he, not not created not created in the flesh but took on flesh a big difference here a distinction but the but the well we are but God is different than, than us human beings. Son of God, and 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 God, and, and the Bible asserts his, the Bible affirms his deity throughout the Gospel of John. Okay. Just like your your father um, may, um, has a child, a son or daughter, your human being is just like your father's human being. Now I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, some things like like murder, yes. Okay. Why do you see black and white? Because God plainly says you shall not murder. Okay. Okay. Yeah, do you want to, to clarify on that? I just want to clarify. There are things that I'm not sure about. Yeah. They might be black and white. I'm just not sure about them. But but there but there are definitely things that are not. You know, they are they are black and white. And 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 there are things. Black and white. 
because God says you shall not murder. Okay, so you came to that decision yourself? Um, I wouldn't say I'm on my own. I mean, I, after... Um, and that's a good question. I, I mean, I've always believed it's wrong to murder people. I think we all believe that, but... And, and when do you believe that a can you, re can you get to be louder because th this uh, right here is, is Johnny Apple. It's making it a little hard to hear you. So can you say it one more time, please. When do you believe that a human being mm -hmm. is, is a full, like, when do we believe that we are fully conjugated? Well, full existence at the moment of fertilization, when the sperm okay. fertilizes the egg. Okay, so would it then be wrong for... So at any point when the zygote is conceived, it's wrong to get rid of it? Well, it's wrong to take the child's life with malice and aforethought murder. That's what that's what the definition of murder is, with malice and aforethought. You plan it out, and you have hatred for that person in your heart. So, premeditated? Premeditated. Okay. Um, so, and then self-defense, does that count as murder? I don't believe so, no. Self-defense or defending other people. But you do... Technically, you have the decision before I am going to kill this person because they are trying to kill me, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Well, I mean, defending yourself, especially others, um, okay. so what much if? much different than a mother murdering her baby or a father murdering their baby. Okay, but what if, the, like, say, ectopic pregnancy, mm -hmm. it was going to kill the mother? Would it count as self-defense for her to? I would I would say no. That's not self-defense because the the baby doesn't have malice and a forethought in, in in their heart, and and there have been there. Do you also believe that they have cognitive awareness? At, at a certain point, the baby is is aware. We don't like science. So so like Jesus, the baby had a previous existence, but was created in flesh. Or, I'm sorry, it took on flesh? What, what, what's, the, what's the question again? The question is, so... Okay. <laughs> now, I do want to get, um, not to cut you off there, I just, I, I do want to get where you stand before God. Because... That's, that's completely subjective, where I stand before God. I believe in some of the teachings of God, but I don't believe in some of the people who preach about his teachings, but don't follow along with their moral beliefs. Well, do you know if, if you if you died tonight, where would you, where would you go, and how do you know? Any idea? I would be absorbed back in the earth. Is that something you are you pretty confident of that, or you're not sure? Or? I'm hundred percent sure that I would be absorbed back in the earth because my physical body would like what's gonna happen to it? It's gonna start decomposing. Oh yeah, it's still be eaten by worms. And um, and the and the main thing is we don't know if there's an afterlife or not. At least in a scientific sense. There are people with faith and they believe in their afterlife and that's perfectly okay. But what I find interesting is how in the religion of Christianity, your guys' first rule is there is one God, there is one only God. That is the only God. You may not take this God's name in vain. You may not disrespect this God. It is the one thing that you cannot do at all. Yet, the, you know, the, what was that called? But in, Sat in Satanism, the first thing, the first, I think, tenet of Satanism is to be kind to others and to be kind to yourself. And the Bible says that that's wrong. Okay. Well, thank you for this conversation. Thanks for talking. I have enough love. <laughs> love and you can always count on the alphabet community. Love and tolerance. <laughs> Jesus Christ is King, folks. Turn to Him tonight and live. Repent and believe in the gospel. You're not promised tomorrow. Repent and be saved from this perverse generation. Jesus Christ is King. The Bible says every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. 
Glory be to the King. Fascist tonight.
wicked well be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. Wow, all of them? Which one? It's coming a day one? burning Did like an oven. The nations coming, John? Oh, yeah, Nicholas. Nicholas.